Shalom, Shalom, Akim. Are we going to start off by giving our praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect that preach this truth out the four corners of the globe. Right, I'm with the brother Ma'ad, with Shalom. the brother Bakar. Shalom, Shalom. All right, we from the GMS Cleveland branch. You know, and basically, we're going to go into this lesson on uh, the spiritual sword, man, and how wisdom is our defense. Okay, because you got a carnal sword and you got a spiritual sword. The carnal sword is the one that you see uh, uh, um, on the screen, and the, and the spiritual sword is the Holy Bible, man. You know, and without further ado, we're going to get into these scriptures, breaking it down. Lord willing, it be this be an edifying lesson. This Ecclesiastics 9 and 18, wisdom is better than weapons of war. Yeah, so you got weapons of war, okay, that, 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 that uh, defends you. You could kill with it, you know, you could hurt somebody with it. But the scriptures say that wisdom and knowledge is better than the weapons of war, man. Because with this wisdom and knowledge, you can you you confound people. Alright, with this wisdom and knowledge, you you know you learn how to move in in society. You learn your place, or you learn um your connection with the most high. You know, and that's important that's more important than anything in this world. Man. Right, and you also learn how to be wise, man. All right, you might get into a certain situation. You might get into a, a, a cardinal confrontation or uh, be about to uh, enter into a cardinal confrontation and wisdom will get you out of that. You know, just by, uh, you know, uh, knowing that uh, a smooth ass will turn off away wrath, man. Right. That's wisdom. Come all right. On. And it's better than, uh, you know, you know, weapons of war. Hey, but, uh, bro, uh, because and, and plus this uh, war that we're fighting is it, it, not a cardinal battle, man. And uh, the brother going to grab that. God, this second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 for the weapons of our welfare are not carnal that's right so it's not carnal man this is we're not fighting a, a carnal battle here man all right it's a, as the scriptures say man it's, it's a time and place for everything this is not the time to uh, uh be a uh, carnal man this is a time to be uh spiritual man it's gonna come a time where you know we don't have to get physical but this is not that time right now man all right, this is the time to apply this wisdom. Uh, as the scriptures say, uh, be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove, man. All right, but you got a lot of Israelite camps out here that's uh, promoting uh, car car be uh, being cardinal, man. All right, uh, gathering weapons and, uh, you know, things like that, man. Right. All right, doing military exercises and things uh, like that. Practicing at gun ranges, right. man. When, and, and that's, and that's uh, a reason why, you know, uh, as a whole, we're going to be targeted, man. All right, as if we some militant group. It say, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. Right. And you can't pull down strongholds going around shooting up people, slicing up people, fighting everybody. No, you pull down strongholds by this word, man. That's right. Okay, what's the strongholds? The strongholds on our people is these different religions, Muslim, Christianity, okay, uh, Islam, all those things. We pulling that down through the word, spirit of power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, man. All right, the scriptures talk about how um, if it, if if a doctrine is not of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah, it's gonna come to naught. Come right, and that's just like it with these other camps. You had ISUBK going to gun ranges. You know, a the um the the word Sakari go back to basically a movement back in Israel when the Jews used to rise up against the Romans and stuff. You know, the Black Panthers, all of that stuff is carnal. Right. You know, you, you ain't you ain't going to make it out this place being carnal. Or you ain't going to um, get this life without being, uh, I mean, being carnal. You got to be spiritual. The way Yahweh shot tell Peter, and hey, you live by the sword, you die by the sword, man. Calm. All right. So, hey, man, that's why, you know, we got to, uh, you know, every, every situation we get into, you know, we got to uh, go back to our spiritual sword, man. Basically, which means a uh, move with wisdom. Because this lesson is titled, all right, Wisdom is a Defense. Uh -huh. All right. All right, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 12. For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. All right, and what is life? Life is, is these with the understanding of the Bible, man. That's what life is. Okay, uh, can somebody grab Baruch 4 and 1 real quick? Right. And it has said, wisdom is a defense and money is a defense. Hey, what's this spiritual money? This wisdom, man. Calm. You know? This word. Calm. The, the, this is what's going to get you pick, pick, um, put on the chariot, but I got that word defense. 
This is a Google definition of the word defense. The action of defending or resisting attack. That's right. Exactly. So right. we use the uh-huh. scriptures to resist attacks. Uh-huh. In any situation we in, we can go back to the scriptures, go back to this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. Uh, and look, I got it's some synonyms. Protection, shielding, safeguarding, guarding. Right. Hey, and, and we also know that, hey, man, a horse is prepared for battle, but safety is a Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. And that's why the scriptures say wisdom and knowledge shall be that stability, man. When you go into that word stability, that's your faith, man. And also, wisdom and knowledge is going to be the reason why you be stable in the time to come, man. All right? But this, you said Baruch what? Baruch 4 and 1. This Baruch 4 and 1, this is a book of the commandments of Yahweh and the law that endure forever. All that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Exactly. And like like um, the scripture just said in Ecclesiastes 7 and 12, it said that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. That's right. Okay? So if you got the, the true understanding of the word, of the Bible, you got the true doctrine of the Lord gave you that uh holy spirit which is the um the energy of understanding okay because it's a it's a spirit that comes with this with this bible man that's right all right if the lord ain't give you that spirit to, to that coat that goes with this bible then you not you don't have the you don't have wisdom all right you don't have life okay you don't have the the breath of your about shim in your bones that's right. all right just like in the beginning when the lord Breathe, breathe that breath into Adam. He became a living soul, man. That's right. He he became a living soul through these through this knowledge, these law, stature, and commandments, man. All right, and we trying to wake our people up, giving them these scriptures. We trying to wake up the elect, all right, so we can hurry up and get this kingdom, man. That's right. But it all starts with wisdom, and you got to set up your defense, and you got to make it strong, man. And also, and also, you know, uh, you know, card, cardinal, carnality, all right, the the, the uh, you know. Belongs to Esau, and, and we can't, you know, win with Esau, you know, using a cardinal sword, man. That is, that is, that is his blessing. Our, our blessing is this, uh, is a spiritual blessing. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, what matters at the end of the day, all right? Because this is, this is all that matters at the end of the day, man. So, like I said, man, we can't battle. And you got a lot of people out there that, you know, say that what they gonna do, man, and how they gonna come up against Esau, you know, with this and with that, man. It's not gonna work, man. You gotta. And that's and pulling down the strongholds, as the scriptures say, man, you know, with his uh, wisdom. Um, this is um Shirak chapter 21, verse 7. An eloquent man is known far and near, but a man of understanding knoweth when he's slipping. That's right. Right, because we, we gotta move in wisdom, and sometimes we're in the flesh, so sometimes you do go off, but by you having this wisdom, you gonna know where you went off at. Or where you, you slipped at. Come. And that's a defense. Right, right, because this wisdom goes prevents you from slipping again. Right, you know, Calm. a lot of people slip and don't know why they slip, man. All right, but with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, it's like it's like going back to the title of this video. It's a defense, man, Calm. from keeping you from slipping again. Right, Calm. right, so just like a sword would defend you from your enemies in the battle of a carnal war. All right, we're not fighting the carnal war. We just like the brother said, we fighting a spiritual war, man. So we using our spiritual sword. All right, now, uh, let me close out with this scripture. This is Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 6, verse 29. Then shall her fetters be a strong defense for thee, and her chains a, a robe for glory. All right, now that her, that her is talking about wisdom, man, because wisdom is likened to a woman. All right, it says, then, then shall her fetters be a strong defense. Okay, that word fetters, it goes into the word shackles or chains because we are prisoners of Yahweh Shai, man. And we have to be bounded. We have to be binded up in this wisdom and knowledge, man. Okay? So our wisdom is going to bind us, bind us up, and that's going to be our strong defense, man. This wisdom and knowledge that the Lord blessed us with. All right? So, you know, uh, that's something to uh, hold on to, you know, for all eternity, especially coming to these times of trouble. You know, brothers always should resort to the scriptures no matter what situation you in the scriptures is the only way to resort to peace and life all right so with that being said we're gonna close out lord willing this video was very edifying to the brothers that's watching and listening taking heed all right we're gonna give all thanks glory praises unto yahweh ba'asham yahweh shai ba'asham
double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Salutations to the whole four elect that preach this truth to the four corners of the globe. Shalom and the Bad Babal.